Well, today, convenience store clerks from across Arizona will gather in their uniforms to say goodbye to one of their own. Grant Ronnebeck was gunned down last week over a pack of cigarettes. He was only 21 years old. But what makes the story more tragic is that the criminal that the cops say pulled the trigger is an illegal immigrant facing deportation who was released from jail on bond. Arizona Attorney General Mark Bernovich joins me now from Phoenix. Sir, thank you for being with us. A sad day for the family of this victim here as his comrades will, will gather around him in your uniform. How infuriating is it that this individual, this criminal, was released on bond? Elizabeth, it's very, very infuriating. Um, you have here an individual that's alleged to have committed this crime that in cold blood shot someone in the face, then walked over the body to uh, grab a pack of cigarettes. My thoughts are with the family. My thoughts are with those hardworking Arizonans that work hard every day and just want the dignity of their lives. And it truly is a tragedy, especially when you have an alleged killer who has been in this country out on release for more than two years after committing a crime, a felony in Arizona, and has gotten not one but two orders of protection, including um, against him by a former girlfriend for allegedly threatening to kill her. So if someone like this can remain in this country, even though he's here illegally and has been um, committed crimes, um, you have to ask yourself, what is the Obama administration doing? What are their policies? Why are they allowing people like this to stay in our communities and be threats to our wives, families, children, and husbands, and fathers? Okay, so what needs to be done? Because if your community is indeed under attack by individuals who aren't just coming here to work, they're coming here to, as we see, kill, what, what's to be done? Well, well, first and foremost, um, you know, no one is more sympathetic to immigration reform than I am. I'm a product of immigration, but immigration reform has to start with securing our border and making sure that those that break the law are deported back to their countries. And what we've seen is a lack of will on the part of the Obama administration. So until we get the border secure, we can't move on to that next phase of immigration reform. That two-year time period while he was waiting for his hearing, it seems like a long time. A long time yes, to track. Some are not tracked during that time. We know that there's a huge gap there. Uh, what do you say to the feds? Well, you know, I, I would urge the Obama administration to follow the law. It's one of the reasons why Arizona has joined with the majority of the states to sue the, sue the Obama administration over his unconstitutional action and his obligation to take charge and take care of the United States and enforce the laws of the United States. There are laws on the book, and all we are asking is that those laws be enforced and that people that enter this country illegally, especially those that mean to do us harm, we need to make sure that they are deported back to their home countries and that the administration administration, the Obama administration, is not encouraging more illegal immigration by its unconstitutional actions. It's a heartbreaking day for the Ronnebeck family. Uh, we uh, want to thank you, sir, for being with us. Mark Barnovich, Attorney General for Arizona. Sad day there. Thank you. You got it.